guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to custom paint a Batman grappling gun toy that I purchased from Walmart online. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's actually made by Rubies. And we're going to turn it from that into this. This makes a great uh, prop that you can have around the house or Halloween or for cosplay. Uh, so this is what the packaging looks like guys, um, even though you don't see much of the details on there, um, the details are very good uh, considering it's just a kid's toy. And my son's, son's trying to steal it away from me, no it's mine, but I guess I've got to share it with him. So the first thing I'm going to use is a paint by Kryolon called Black uh, Plastic Fusion. And then I'm going to cover it in a matte black. And then I'm going to use a gunmetal black um, over some of it as well. To get out some of the details, I'm going to use some silver enamel paint and then I'm going to dry brush it in a black acrylic. So the first thing I did, I've got my Krylon Fusion. Uh, this paint actually, you spray on plastic and then afterwards you, when you spray paint it, it won't actually chip off. Um, the color doesn't really matter, this was the color that I actually had. But make sure, as you see here, I've got some orange bits exposed, make sure you spray in all those areas. Um, once you've let that dry for a few hours, you're going to come in with some Rust-Oleum Black and then you're going to cover the entire gun. And then once one side's dry, you'll flip it over and spray the other side. But just do some real nice even coats, guys. Um, make sure you do it from a distance. Uh, that way you don't get any drips on your Batman grappling gun. Okay, so once that's dry, I've come in with some brown primer. I taped off around the edges and I spray painted the handle. But I didn't go too far on the coat, as you can see there's a little bit of black still there exposed. And then I came in with my gunmetal uh, steel uh, color and I just slightly sprayed um, over the rest of the gun. And you can already see these details starting to pop out now with that black being behind. So now I'm going to get some silver enamel and a small brush. And I'm just going to speed this up here. Um, I just ate a pound of sugar and I'm painting really fast now so I'm gonna paint all these details now on the grappling gun and I'm using the reference picture of Google um, just to get to see where I need to do a lot more of the silver And as I said guys, when you do this, make sure that you don't have a lot of uh, silver on your brush. And now I'm going to, once that's dry, I've kind of picked it up, just rested it on some cans and uh, paint in the front and the top. And I'm just going to add some the silver that I'm adding. I'm just kind of going real light on it because I want to kind of make this look like this grappling gun's kind of been for a lot of stuff. You know, it's a little bit haggard and uh, distressed in certain areas. And then when that's dry, I'm going to paint the other side. As you can see with uh, putting the silver on it really makes everything pop out a lot more which I like so I'm really happy how this is coming out so far. Uh, 
and I've also made a utility belt and I've made a batter rank um, and you can actually see that within this playlist um, if you just click on the little I button in the right hand corner and now I'm going to finish off the, the bottom of the barrel here on the grappling gun now when you do these parts here make sure you just go real thin because you don't want the silver to go um, within those gaps and if you do for any reason you could just come back in with some black and then I'm just going to finish the top piece and then finish the little side pieces here and then also the inside there of the barrel and what I also did, um, they had like some little bolts and two squares there on the side that I just covered in black and silver and then I just dry brushed um, some acrylic paint on the handle so you can see there, there's a side profile here And for, the, for a toy, I'm pretty amazed with the detail that's on this. Um, this dry brush and silver technique has really made everything pop out. So this is what the finished product looks like, guys. Um, really hope you like this. I uh, hope you found this video useful. Uh, so please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, guys. And we will see you real soon.